Hi, I'm Kirag Mwangi, and on this video, I'll be talking about how humans are increasing pressures to the planet. As we saw in the first lesson, biodiversity or biological diversity and ecosystems are important for human existence. Biodiversity means different things to different people. A zebra to a Kenyan, a polar bear to a Canadian, a coral reefs to Maldivians, and tropical woods for someone in Panama. All these are important for human existence. As much as we are learning about benefits that we take from biodiversity, like medicine, food, shelter, water, and all other things that we get from the environment, we're also learning about the challenges that the environment is facing. Human development and human growth is increasingly causing a lot of pressures to the environment. We know that human growth and expansion of populations across the world comes with challenges of resource use that is increasing pressures to the environment. Ecological footprint measures the amount of resources that we use from the environment and also the amount of waste we produce that has to be absorbed back into the environment. We currently use one and a half times planet's ability to produce what we need to exist. It currently takes the Earth one and a half years to generate what we use in a year. We only have one planet and at this rate we cannot continue without serious consequences. There are many threats to biological diversity and ecosystems that are caused by humanity. Let's look at a few that have been highlighted by the Convention for Biological Diversity. Overexploitation of natural resources due to activities like logging trees for urban development and timber, hunting animals for food and trophies, harvesting plants for food and medicine, fishing or overfishing on oceans, rivers and lakes, habitat loss and degradation due to unprecedented levels of infrastructure development. Urbanization and demand for biofuels has also led to demand for terrestrial habitat loss. Human-induced climate change is having profound effects on biodiversity. It is altering behavior, reproduction of species, and distribution of these species as well. The introduction of invasive alien species has caused catastrophic consequences to native species of plants and animals in different parts of the world. Atmospheric and terrestrial pollution through careless handling of both industrial and agricultural pollutants and wastes has caused catastrophic effects on native plants and animals as well as native habitats like wetlands. Finally, pollution is a common byproduct of many industries. It is not long ago that many people used to say the solution to pollution is dilution. This meant pumping sewage into the sea and chemicals into our rivers. The casual throwaway of common materials such as plastic, which we use in everything and don't always recycle, means that more than 5 trillion pieces of plastic weighing up to 270 tons are floating on our oceans. Animals that eat plastic, such as turtles and seals, can die while the chemicals within smaller pieces that are eaten by fish and other animals can accumulate in our food chain and end up affecting us. I've talked about some very difficult and challenging things that are happening to the environment. Now let's look at some positive things that are happening and that you can contribute to. First, there has been an increase in the number of areas designated for protection to take care of the natural environment. Secondly, there has been a lot of effort that has gone into species recovery and habitat restoration. Third, there's been an increase in the engagement with indigenous communities and also local populations to ensure their involvement in natural resources management. Fourth, there's been adoption of policies to manage invasive alien species and also genetically modified organisms. Fifth, regulation that supports sustainable agricultural practices and also the reduction of pollutants. 
Six, international financing for biodiverse conservation has been increased. Now, tell us what you do to reduce your impact to the environment. And in the next video, find out more about how habitat loss is one of the greatest threats to biodiversity and ecosystems.